Hey everybody, I just got back from the Griddlemore tour in upstate New York. I bought this boar's head garlic bologna, 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 I call it bologna. If you go way back in my archives, probably six years ago, you'll see that I made something that I called poor man's brisket. But we're going to make some today. Now in my first video years ago, I rubbed and smoked the entire piece of bologna in one solid piece. But then when I sliced it, I was left with both sides of the bologna that didn't have that delicious smoke caramelization on there. Or I can just pre-slice it and infuse that smoke flavor all over the place from the get-go. You can slice this as thick as you'd like. I'm probably going to do something like that. So here's my stack of sliced bologna and I picked some Fat Boy All Natural Premium All Purpose Rub out of the pantry. I love the Fat Boy Rub. I've been using it for years, but you can use whatever type of rub you prefer. So bologna by itself, yeah, slippery disc of mystery meat that are probably best left back in the 1970s. But once you rub them up, we go to the smoker. Now I can just layer the bologna on. And two trays of bologna into the cook shack. Now all we have to do is run down to KFC and the grocery store to pick up the finishing touches. That's Cheyenne Mountain down there in the distance. Of course, Cheyenne Mountain, home of NORAD. There's good old Pikes Peak, America's Mountain. I have been up Pikes Peak a ton of times. I used to be a tour driver. And what would a visit to Colorado Springs be without stopping at Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros is a Grants Pass, Oregon coffee chain that came to Colorado Springs a number of years ago, and it is the best of the best. I absolutely say no to Starbucks, and we are Dutch all the way. At Dutch Bros, they come out and take your order, and they have the best customer service a large annihilator freeze oh. no whipped cream Perfect. a small what kind of app Aaron apple apple a small apple smoothie do you want whipped cream Aaron yes and a small um, caramelizer frost picture perfect caramelizer frost and green apple smoothie how are they thumbs up good dutch bros always thumbs up good and once again the magnificent pike's peak stop number two coming up KFC. By the way, what do you all think about the new Cheetos chicken sandwiches? Have you had those yet? Hi, can I get two large coleslaws? Oh man, you're quick, thank you. Not a big Safeway fan, but we were in the neighborhood. We needed Texas toast and Safeway came through. Just got back from the errands, it's been about 90 minutes. Let's check out our bologna. The applewood smoke smells good and there's nice color. I turned on the Blackstone to toast the Texas toast so I figured why not finish these up on the griddle. Just to get a little caramelization on the outside of these bologna pieces. Just like that. Doesn't that look 
Perfect. Turn these right two burners off and we can slide these down to one end until we're ready to plate these up. Now we can quickly toast the Texas toast. That looks like a stack of goodness from a top rated barbecue joint. Oh, the toast looks perfect. Then we can grab a couple pieces of that toast along with a couple of nice slices of bologna and we can head over to the picnic table. And this is how we're going to do this. Start off with that beautiful Texas toast. KFC now has their coleslaw in these ugly containers. I used to like the old red and white foam containers. Bottom of the Texas toast. The Colonel's coleslaw, the original recipe, it's delicious. No need to reinvent the wheel. You can make your own coleslaw, but KFC's is perfect. Followed by two slices of that applewood smoked garlic bologna. And finally, some of the fat boy all natural blazing boar sauce. It suddenly started raining. The rain's trying to steal my thunder. And the crown on top. And as good as this looks, I still made a huge mistake because I forgot to add griddled pineapple. When I was re-inspired to make this sandwich after six years, the idea of putting a slice of griddled pineapple on top is what got me motivated. And of course the pineapple is sitting inside on the kitchen counter. Not very happy with myself. Nonetheless, take a look at that. Let's give it a try, complete with my seriously angry face because I forgot the pineapple. It's so good and why I was originally inspired to make this video is that it tastes like high-end barbecue. It tastes like serious barbecue from a great barbecue joint. Just don't forget the pineapple because I was so excited to add that new icing on the cake. So thanks for watching everybody. You got a glimpse into my humanity there with the pineapple fiasco. I'm feeling better about it right now. I had a reminder in my spirit that God is still good. So until next time everybody, this is Todd saying praise the Lord and pass the smoked bologna sandwich. Mmm.